Welcome to our channel. Today we are covering Kuga Foundation. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Today's questions are According to Togev, in which sequence should application architecture and data architecture be developed in phase C? Option A, application architecture should be developed first than data architecture. Option B, application architecture should be developed concurrently with data architecture. Option C, data architecture should be developed first then application architecture and option d application architecture and data architecture may be developed in either sequence and the correct answer is option d now moving to the next question which of the following best completes the sentence the architecture repository Option A is used to store different classes of architectural output created by the ADM. Option B is a categorization mechanism for classifying architecture and solution artifacts. Option C is a detailed model of architectural work including deliverable and artifacts. Option D it is an architecture of generic functions and services and option E is a set of resources to help establish an architecture capability within an organization. And the correct answer is option A. Next question is what level of the architecture landscape provides a long-term summary view of the entire enterprise? Option A, capability architecture. Option B, operational architecture. Option C, segment architecture. Option D, strategic architecture. And option E, tactical architecture. And the correct answer is option D. Next question is a key step in validating a proposed target architecture is to consider what may have been forgotten. What technique does TOGAF recommend to address this issue? Option A Business transformation, deedness assessment. Option B Business Value Assessment Technique Option C Capability Based Planning Option D Communications and Stakeholder Management and Option E Gap Analysis The correct answer is Option E Next question is, complete the sentence in the preliminary phase. All of the following are part of preparing the organization to undertake successful enterprise architecture except Option A, defining architecture principles. Option B, defining relationships between management frameworks. Option C, defining the enterprise. Option D, evaluating the enterprise architecture maturity. And option E, identify stakeholders and their concerns. The correct answer is option E. Next question is, which phase of the ADM establishes a set of principles? Option A, preliminary phase. Option B, phase A. Option C, phase D. Option D, 
phase G and option E phase H. The correct answer is option A. In which phase of the ADM does the business and aerotechnic figure most prominently? Option A preliminary, option B architecture vision, option C business architecture, option D information system architectures and option E technology architecture. The correct answer is option B. Next question is which one of the following best describes the architecture vision document? Option A an agreement between development partners and the sponsor on architecture deliverables. Option B a description of how the new capability will address stakeholder concerns. Option C a description of the scope and approach for completion of the architecture project. Option D a set of quantitative statements outlining requirements on the implementation. And option E a set of rules and guidelines to support fulfilling the mission of the organization. And the correct answer is option B. Thank you. Come back to our channel. Today we are covering Toga Foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Now moving to questions. Which of the following best describes an objective of the preliminary phase? Option A. Develop a vision of the proposed enterprise architecture. Option B. Document the baseline architecture. Option C. Obtain approval for the statement of architecture work. Option D. Operate the governance framework. And option E, select and implement tools. The correct answer is option E. Next question is, which part of the ADM cycle do building block gaps become associated with work packets that will address the gaps? Option A, preliminary phase and phase A. Option B, Phase B, C and D. Option C, Phase E. Option D, Phase F. And Option E, Phases G and H. The correct answer is Option C. Next question is, which of the following best describes the integrated information infrastructure reference model? Option A. It is used to determine the capability level of an enterprise. Option B. It is a deliverable from phase A. Option C. It focuses on application software. Option D, it provides a conceptual structure for architecture governance. And option E, it supports all the common system architectures. The correct answer is option C. Now moving to next question. Complete the sentence. The practice by which the enterprise architecture is managed and controlled at an enterprise level is known as Option A. Architecture Governance Option B. Corporate Governance 
ऑप्शन सी आई टी गवर्नेंस ऑप्शन डी पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑप्शन ई टेक्नोलॉजी गवर्नेंस The correct answer is option A. Next question is, which of the following best describes the TOGAF classification in phase H for re, H, sorry for a re-architecting change? Option A, a change driven by a requirement to derive additional value from the existing investment. Option B. a change driven by a requirement to increase investment in order to create new value for exploitation option c a change driven by a requirement to reduce costs option d a change driven by a requirement to reduce investment and option e a change driven by a requirement to realign with the business strategy the correct answer is option b next question is which of the following best describes the purpose of the business transformation readiness assessment technique option a to determine if the organization is ready to undergo change option b to determine if the stakeholders support the implementation plan option c to ensure that there are adequate trained engineers to develop the solution option d to ensure that there is sufficient funding to execute the transformation and option e to plan the migration steps needed to achieve the transformation the correct answer is option a next question is in which adm phase is the implementation and migration plan coordinated with other frameworks option a phase a option b phase e option c phase f option d phase g and option e phase h the correct answer is option c now moving to next question which of the following is described by the togaf architecture content framework as a type of artifact that shows list of things option a building block option b catalog option c diagram option d matrix and option e deliverable the correct answer is option b next question is according to tugaf which of the following types of architecture has major characteristics that include open system standards and general building blocks option a common system architecture option b foundation architecture option c industry architecture and option d organization specific architecture the correct answer is option b thank you welcome back to our channel today we are covering togaf foundation to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description If you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel Today's questions are Togaf uses a version numbering convention 
to illustrate the evolution of the baseline and target architecture definitions. Which version number in this convention indicates a formally reviewed detailed architecture? Option A, version 0.1 Option B, version 0.5 Option C, version 0.9 Option D version 1.0 and option E version 1.5. The correct answer is option D. Now moving to next question. Which of the following best describes the TOGAF architecture development method? Option A. A process for managing architecture requirements. Option B. A classification mechanism for architectures and solutions. Option C. A process for managing and controlling change at an enterprise wide level. Option D. A view of the architecture repository. And option E. A process for developing an organization-specific enterprise architecture. The correct answer is option E. Next question is, which of the following best describes the need for the ADM process to be governed? Option A. To enable development of reference architectures. Option B. To enable a fast response to market changes. Option C. To build a top-down, all-inclusive architecture description. Option D. To permit the architecture domains to be integrated. And option E. To verify that the method is being applied correctly. The correct answer is option E. Next question is which one of the following is an objective of phase A architecture vision? Option A defining architecture principles. Option B Defining relationships between management frameworks. Option C. Defining the enterprise. Option D. Evaluating the enterprise architecture maturity. And option E. Identifying the stakeholders and their concerns. The correct answer is option E. Next question is, which one of the following does TOGAF recommend for use in developing the architecture vision? Option A, architecture principles. Option B, business scenarios. Option C, business transformation readiness assessment. Option D, capability based planning and option E, gap analysis. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which one of the following is considered a relevant architecture resource in phase D? Option A, Generic application models relevant to the organization's industry sector. Option B. Generic business models relevant to the organization's industry sector. Option C. Generic data models relevant to the organization's industry sector. And option D. Generic technology models relevant to the organization's industry sector. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, how does this affect me? 
ऑप्शन ए इम्प्लीकेशंस ऑप्शन बी नेम ऑप्शन सी रेशनल एंड ऑप्शन डी स्टेटमेंट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अकॉर्डिंग टू टोगैफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स इज डिफाइंड एज द की इंटरेस्ट दैट आर क्रूशली इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्टेक होल्डर्स ऑप्शन ए कंसर्न्स ऑप्शन बी प्रिंसिपल्स ऑप्शन सी रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑप्शन डी व्यूज एंड ऑप्शन ई व्यूज पॉइंट्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए थैंक यू back to our channel today we are covering to gaf foundation to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel today's questions are when using a cycle of the adm to establish an architecture capability as described in to gaf part Seven. Which architecture would describe the infrastructure requirements? Option A, application architecture. Option B, business architecture. Option C, data architecture. Option D, technology architecture. And option E, transition architecture. The correct answer is option D. Next question is which of the following best describes the class of information known as the reference library within the architecture repository? Option A, a description of the organization specific architecture framework and method. Option B, a record of the governance activity across the enterprise. option c guidelines and templates used to create new architectures option d processes to support governance of the architecture repository and option e specifications to which architectures must conform the correct answer is option c Next question is complete the sentence. To get defines five criteria for a good set of principles: understandable, robust, complete, consistent, and option A, agile. Option B, dynamic. Option C, comprehensive. option d rational and option e stable the correct answer is option e next question is complete the sentence according to togev a dash is a representation of a system from the perspective of a related set of dash option a view concerns option b viewpoints and views option c view and requirements and option d view and stakeholders the correct answer is option a next question is which of the following best describes the standards information base option a a repository area holding a description of the organization specific architecture framework and method option b a repository area holding 
a record of the governance activity across the enterprise option c a repository area holding guidelines and templates used to create new architectures option d a repository area holding processes to support governance of the architecture repository and option e a repository area holding specifications to which architectures must conform the correct answer is option e now moving to next question which of the following best describes the purpose of the gap analysis technique option a to determine service levels for the architecture option b to establish quality metrics for the architecture option c to identify commercial building blocks to be purchased option d to identify missing functions and option e to validate non functional requirements the correct answer is option b next question is which of the following best describes how the enterprise continuum is used when developing an enterprise architecture option a to describe how an architecture addresses stakeholders concerns option b to identify and understand business requirements option c to classify architecture and solution assets option d to coordinate with the other management frameworks in use and option e to provide a system for continuous monitoring the correct answer is option c next question is complete the sentence by selecting the applicable pairs of words a slash n is used in phase a to help identify and understand business does that the architecture has to address option a activity model option b business scenario and requirements option c use case interconnections option d architecture view and concerns and option e business transformation readiness assessment and constraints the correct answer is option b thank you to our channel today we are covering to get foundation to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel Today's questions are According to Togaf which of the following best describes the purpose of an architecture roadmap Option A to act as a deliverable container for artifacts created during a project Option B to ensure that architecture information is communicated to the right stakeholders at the right time Option C to govern the architecture throughout its implications sorry implementations process option d to provide a high level view of the end architecture product and option e to show progression of change from the baseline architecture to the target architecture the correct answer is option e next question is Which of the following does the TOGAF standard describe as an architecture pattern? Option A, an implementation specific solution building block. Option B, a work product describing an aspect of an architecture. Option C, 
a detailed description of the interfaces between building blocks option d a package of functionality defined to meet the business needs of the organization and option e a way to identify combinations of building blocks that have been proven to deliver solutions the correct answer is option e next question is complete the sentence the trogafnis categorization after the implementation of mitigating actions is known as the level of risk option a critical option b initial option c intermediate option d residual option e unmitigated the correct answer is option d next question is which of the following statement best describes the requirements management process option a it is used to develop requirements for transition architectures that deliver business value option b it is used to dispose of address and prioritize architecture requirements option c it is used to dispose requirements for phase a option c it is used to manage architecture requirements throughout the adm cycle and option e it is used to review business requirements the correct answer is option d next question is which of the following does togev describe as a formal description of a system or a detailed plan of the system at component level to guide its implementation option a architecture option b artifact option c deliverable option d model and option e view the correct answer is option a next question is complete the sentence the architectural landscape is divided into three levels strategic segment and das option a baseline option b capability option c solution option d target and option e transition the correct answer is option b next question is in phases b c and d which is the final step in each phase option a conduct formal stakeholder review option b create architecture definition document option c define road map components option d perform gap analysis and option e select reference models viewpoints and tools the correct answer is option b next question is which part of the togaf describes taxonomies for categorizing the outputs of architecture activity in terms of reuse option a adm guidelines and techniques option b architecture capability framework option c architecture development method and option d enterprise continuum and tools the correct answer is option d
Thank you. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering the Gap Foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are Complete the sentence. To get provides a set of reference materials for establishing an architecture function within an organization known as the Option A. Architecture Capability Framework Option B. Architecture Content Framework Option C. Architecture Landscape Option D, Architecture Repository and Option E, Architecture Roadmap. The correct answer is Option A. Next question is, which of the following does the TOGAF standard describe as a package of functionality defined to meet business needs across an organization? Option A, an application option b an architecture viewpoint option c a building block option d a deliverable and option e a solution architecture the correct answer is option c next question is according to togaf which document should incorporate the actions arising from the business transformation readiness assessment technique? Option A. Architecture Roadmap Option B. Architecture Requirements Specification Option C. Communications Plan Option D. Implementation and Migration Plan And Option E. Implementation Governance Model The correct answer is Option D. Next question is, which of the following best describes the purpose of the architecture vision? Option A. It contains an assessment of the current architecture requirements. Option B. It defines the scope and approach to complete an architecture project. Option C. It is sent from the sponsor and triggers the start of an architecture development cycle. Option D. It provides a high-level aspirational view of the end architecture project. And Option E. It provides a schedule for implementation of the target architecture. The correct answer is Option D. Next question is to give part 7 architecture capability framework it recommends use of an ADM cycle for establishing an architecture practice. In this scenario, which architecture will describe the organizational structure for the architecture practice? Option A application architecture, Option B Business Architecture Option C Data Architecture Option D Technology Architecture The correct answer is Option B. Next question is Which of the following best describes the Purpose of the business scenarios technique. Option A to guide decision making throughout the enterprise. Option B to catch errors in a project architecture early. Option C to identify and understand requirements. Option D to identify risk when implementing an architecture project. And option E to highlight shortfalls between the baseline and target architectures. The correct answer is option C. Next question is 
complete the sentence. The requirements management process is used to Option A. Develop requirements for transition architectures that deliver business value. Option B. Dispose of, address and prioritize architecture requirements. Option C. Organize architecture requirements throughout the ADM cycle. Option D. Review business requirements. And option E. Validate requirements between ADM phases. The correct answer is option C. Next question is which of the following describes the TOGAF technical reference model? Option A. A common systems architecture. Option B. A foundation architecture. Option C. An industry specific architecture. Option D. An organization specific architecture. And option E. A solution architecture. The correct answer is option B. Thank you. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering Together Foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are Which of the following is an objective of the preliminary phase? Option A. Develop the architecture vision document. Option B. Draft the implementation and migration plan. Option C. Ensure conformance requirements for the target architecture are defined. Option D. Establish the organizational model for enterprise architecture. And option E. Operate the governance framework. The correct answer is option D. Next question is. Complete the sentence. According to TOGAF, an objective of phase G implementation governance is to Option A. Assess the performance of the architecture and make recommendations for change. Option B. Ensure the baseline architecture continues to be fit for purpose. Option C. Ensure conformance with the defined architecture by the implementation projects. Option D. Establish an architecture change management process for the architecture finalized in the previous ADM phase. And Option E. Operate the governance framework. The correct answer is Option C. Next question is which is part of the approach in the ADM preliminary phase? Option A. Creating the architecture vision deliverable. Option B. Defining the enterprise. Option C. Developing an architecture contract. Option D. Extending the business scenario with business modeling. And Option E. Preparing a consolidated gap analysis. The correct answer is option B. Next question is which of the following describes the TOGAF classification in phase H for a simplification change? Option A. A change driven by a requirement to derive additional value from the existing investment. Option B. A change driven by a requirement to increase investment in order to create new value for exploitation. Option C. A change driven by a requirement to reduce investment. Option D. A change driven by a requirement to realign with the business strategy. And Option E. A change driven by a requirement to simplify communication between stakeholders. 
The correct answer is option C. Next question is in phases B, C and D, which is the first step in each phase? Option A. Conduct formal stakeholder review. Option B. Create architecture definition document. Option C. Define roadmap components. Option D. Perform gap analysis. And option E. Select reference models, viewpoints and tools. The correct answer is option E. Next question is complete the sentence. The ADM can be viewed as the process of populating the enterprise own dash with <coughs> with relevant reusable building blocks taken from the more generic side of the enterprise continuum. Option A architecture repository. Option B architecture requirements. Option C Implementation and Migration Plan Option D Standards Information Base and Option E Strategic Architecture The correct answer is Option A Next question is Which of the following best describes the concept of boundaryless information flow? Option A Enabling the vision of an integrated information infrastructure. Option B. Getting information to the right people at the right time in a secure, reliable and timely manner. Option C. Enabling effective global communications between countries. Option D. Enabling the flow of information to all stakeholders. And option E, providing a visual representation of information provider, consumer and brokering application. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, according to TOGAF, which of the following terms describes people who have key roles in or concerns about a system? Option A, consumer. Option B, CXOs. Option C, lead architect. Option D, sponsor. And option E, stakeholder. The correct answer is option E. Thank you. For channel, today we are covering Together Foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are In which phase of the ADM cycle do building blocks become implementation specific? Option A, Phase A Option B, Phase B Option C, Phase C. Option D, Phase D. And Option E, Phase E. The correct answer is Option E. Next question is, according to TOGAF, which of the following best describes the purpose of the architecture definition document? Option A, to act as a deliverable container for artifacts created during a project. Option B to ensure that architecture information is communicated to the right stakeholders at the right time. Option C to govern the architecture throughout its implementation process. Option D to provide a high level view of the end architecture product. And option E to show progression of change from the baseline architecture to the target architecture. The correct answer is option A.
Next question is, which of the following best describes the TUGEF architecture governance framework? Option A, an approach to ensure the effectiveness of an organization's architectures. Option B, an architecture of building blocks and corresponding standards together with associated graphics. Option C, an example set of architecture principles. Option D, a reference model that includes information provider applications and brokering applications. And option E, a model intended to assist with the release management of the TOGAF standard itself. The correct answer is option A. Next question is, complete the sentence. The enterprise continuum provides method for classifying architecture artifacts as they evolve from option a foundation architectures to reusable architecture assets option b generic architectures to organization specific architectures option c generic solutions to industry models option d generic architectures to reusable solution building blocks and option e solutions architectures to solution building blocks the correct answer is option b next question is which of the following describes an objective of phase f migration planning phase option a develop a target technology architecture Option B, consolidate the gap analysis results from phases B through D. Option C, generate and gain consensus on an initial architecture roadmap. Option D, coordinate the implementation and migration plan with other frameworks. And option E, operate the governance framework and manage an architecture contract the correct answer is option D next question is complete the sentence together covers the development of four architecture domains applications business data and option a capability option B segment option C technology Option D, Transition and Option E, Vision. The correct answer is Option C. Next question is, which of the following best describes a purpose of the gap analysis technique? Option A, to catch errors in a project architecture early. Option B, to guide decision making throughout the enterprise. Option C to help identify and understand business requirements. Option D to highlight shortfalls between the baseline and target architectures. And option E to mitigate risk when implementing an architecture project. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, according to the TOGAF standard, which of the following define general rules and guidelines for the use of resources across the enterprise? Option A, functional requirements. Option B, stakeholder concerns. Option C, architecture principles. Option D, business scenarios and option E, procurement policies. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which ADM phase include obtaining approval for the statement of architecture work? Option A, preliminary phase. Option B, 
phase a architecture vision option c phase d technology architecture option d phase f migration planning and option e phase g implementation governance the correct answer is option b next question is which sections of the togef template for te architecture principles should highlight the requirements for carrying out the principle option a implications option b name option c rational and option d statement the correct answer is option a thank you welcome back to our channel today we are covering to get foundation to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel today's questions are Togev uses a version numbering convention to illustrate the evolution of the baseline and target architecture definitions. Which version number in this convention indicates a high level outline of the architecture? Option A version 1.0 Option B version 0.9 Option C version 0.5 Option D version 1.5 and option e version 0.1 the correct answer is option e next question is in which adm phase is the goal to ensure that the architecture achieves its original target business value option a phase e option b phase f option c phase g option d phase h and option e preliminary phase the correct answer is option d next question is which adm phase starts with the receipt of a request for architecture work from the sponsoring organization option a phase a architecture vision option b phase b business architecture option c phase h architecture change management option d preliminary phase and option e requirements management the correct answer is option a next question is which of the following is described by the togef architecture content framework as a type of artifact that shows relationships between things option a building block option b catalog option c diagram option d matrix and option e deliverable the correct answer is option d Next question is complete the sentence. Togev defines five criteria for a good set of principles: complete, consistent, stable, understandable, and option A, agile; option B, dynamic; option C, comprehensive; option D, robust; and option E. strategic the correct answer is option d next question is which of the following best describes architecture compliance review option a review of an architecture project against established criteria and business objectives option b review of the readiness and ability of an organization to accept change option c a review of the organization's ability to share information and services 
Option D, a review of the baseline and target architectures to identify gaps. And Option E, a review of the plans for enterprise transformation. The correct answer is Option A. Next question is, complete the sentence. The architecture landscape is divided into three levels, capability, segment, and option A, baseline, option B, solution, option C, strategic, option D, target, and option E, transition. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which of the following is a reusable artifact that is used to create architecture models addressing stakeholder concerns? Option A, catalog. Option B, matrix. Option C, diagram. Option D, view. And option E, viewpoint. The correct answer is option E. Next question is, complete the sentence. Pugav describes the role of an architecture contract as Option E, an agreement between development partners and sponsors on the architecture deliverables. Option B, a plan to ensure that architecture information is communicated to the right stakeholders at the right time. Option C, a set of general rules and guidelines to support development of the enterprise architecture. And option D, a timeline showing progression from the baseline to the target architecture. The correct answer is option A. Next question is, which of the following does TOGAF standard define as the structure of components, their interrelationships, and the principles guiding their design and evolution over time? Option A, an architecture view. Option B, an artifact. Option C, a model. Option D, a deliverable and option E and architecture. The correct answer is option E. Thank you. To our channel, today's we are covering to get foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel today's questions are which part of TOGAF describes a step-by-step -step approach to developing an enterprise architecture option a ADM guidelines option B architecture capability framework Option C, Architecture Content Framework. Option D, Architecture Development Method. And Option E, Enterprise Continuum and Tools. The correct answer is Option D. Next question is, which of the following does TOGAF provide as a set of reference materials for establishing an architecture function within an organization. Option A, architecture content framework. Option B, technical reference model. Option C, integrated information infrastructure reference model. Option D, architecture development method. And option E, architecture capability framework. The correct answer is option E. Next question is, 
which of the TOGAF architecture development phases is the first phase of an architecture development cycle, defines the scope for an engagement and identifies the stakeholders. Option A, architecture change management. Option B, architecture vision. Option C, business architecture. Option D, preliminary phase. And option E, technology architecture. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, which of the following does the TOGAF ADF recommend for use in developing the architecture vision? Option A, architecture principles. Option B, business scenarios. Option C, interoperability analysis. Option D, migration planning techniques. And Option E, risk management techniques. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, which of the following does the TOGAF document define as architectural work product that describes an aspect of the architecture? Option A, application platform interface. Option B, artifact. Option C, building block. Option D, deliverable. And option E, framework. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, which part of the TOGAF document describes taxonomies for categorization the sorry for categorizing the outputs of architecture activity option a adm guidelines and techniques option b architecture capability framework option c architecture development method and option d enterprise continuum and tools The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which of the following is described by the TOGAF document as a detailed plan of the system at component level to guide its implementation? Option A, architecture. Option B, artifact. Option C, deliverable. Option D, model, and option E, view. The correct answer is option A. Next question is, complete the sentence. The standards information base is repository area that option A, defines the parameters, structures, and Processes to support governance of the architecture repository. Option B describes the organization specific architecture framework and method. Option C lists a set of specifications to which architectures must conform. Option D provides a record of the governance activity across the enterprise. And option E provides guidelines templates and patterns used to create new architectures. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which of the following does the TOGAF document describe as the risk categorization prior to determining and implementing mitigating actions? Option A, the critical level of risk Option B, the initial level of risk. Option C, the intermediate level of risk. Option D, the mitigated level of risk. And option E, the residual level of risk. The correct answer is option B.
Next question is in phase B, C and D of the ADM cycle, the first step defined is to select reference models, viewpoints and tools. Which of the following is the next step in each of these phases? Option A. Conduct formal stakeholder review. Option B. Create architecture definition document. Option C. Develop baseline architecture. Option D. Perform gap analysis. And option E. Resolve impacts across the architecture landscape. And the correct answer is option C. Thank you. Back to our channel. Today we are covering questions and answers on Trogaf Foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are in which part of the ADM cycle are building blocks evolved using a common platform of steps? Option A. Preliminary phase. Read phase A. Option B. Phase B, C and D. Option C. E. Phase E and F. And option D. Phases grid edge. The correct answer is option C. Next question is which section of the TOGAF template for architecture principles should describe situations where one principle would be given precedence over another? Option A implications, option B name, option C rational. Option D statement and option E trade oils. The correct answer is option C. Next question is complete the sentence. The architecture landscape is divided into three levels strategic architectures, segment architectures, and option A baseline architectures. Option B, Capability Architectures. Option C, Solution Architectures. Option D, Target Architectures. And Option E, Transition Architectures. The correct answer is Option B. Next question is, the TOGAF ADM uses a version numbering convention to illustrate the evolution of baseline and target architecture definitions. What does version 1.0 indicate according to this convention? Option A. A high level outline architecture. Option B. A preliminary outline architecture. Option C. A formally reviewed detailed architecture. Option D, a draft detailed architecture. And option E, a formally reviewed preliminary architecture. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which of the following types of architecture defines technology standards for building blocks and provides direction for products and services? Option A, Common System Architecture. Option B, Foundation Architecture. Option C, Industry Architecture. Option D, Organization Specific Architecture. And Option E, Transition Architecture. The correct answer is Option B. Next question is, which one of the following best describes the purpose of the communications plan? Option A. To act as a deliverable container for artifacts created during a project. Option B. 
to ensure that information is communicated to the right stakeholders at the right time. Option C to ensure that the results of a compliance assessment are distributed to the architecture board. Option D to inform the architecture board of changes to the architecture. And option E to show progression of change from the baseline architecture to the target architecture. The correct answer is option B. Next question is to give part 7 architecture capability framework recommends use of an ADM cycle for establishing an architecture practice. In this scenario, which architecture will describe the organizational structure for the architecture practice? Option A. Application architecture. Option B. Business architecture. Option C. Data architecture. Option D. Technology architecture. And Option E. Transition architecture. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, which one of the following best describes capability-based planning? Option A. Planning technique that ensures business information is communicated to the right people at the right time. Option B. A planning technique that ensures the application of business best practices. Option C. A planning technique that ensures timely solutions. Option D. A planning technique that focuses on business outcomes. And Option E. A planning technique that defines services to be shared. The correct answer is Option D. Next question is complete the sentence. The architecture landscape is divided into three levels, capability architectures, segment architectures, and option A, baseline architectures, option B, solution architectures, option C, strategic architectures, option D, target architectures, and option E, transition architecture. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which of the following does the TOGAF document define as the representation of a related set of concerns? Option A, catalog. Option B, matrix. Option C, diagram. Option D, view and option E viewpoint the correct answer is option D thank you welcome back to our channel today we are covering question and answers on Toga foundation to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel Today's questions are In which phase of the TOGAF ADM are the architecture roadmap and implementation and migration plan integrated with other change activity in the enterprise? Option A Phase A Option B Phase D Option C Phase E Option D Phase F and option E, phase G. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which part of the TOGAF document describes an overview of typical architecture deliverables? Option A, ADM guidelines and techniques. Option B, architecture capability framework. Option C, architecture content framework. 
option d enterprise content framework and option e to get preference tools the correct answer is option c next question is which section of the TOGAF template for architecture principles should clearly state the impact to the business and consequences of adopting the principle? Option A, implications. Option B, name. Option C, rational. And option D, statement. The correct answer is option A. Next question is, which of the following describes a purpose of an architecture compliance review? Option A, identifying relationships between management frameworks. Option B, identifying stakeholders and their concerns. Option C, identifying the business transformation risk for an architecture project. Option D, identifying criteria for procurement activities. And option E, identifying work packets for inclusion in the architecture roadmap. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, complete the sentence. There are five criteria that distinguish a good set of principles, understandable, robust, complete, consistent, and option A, a guide, option B, dynamic, option C, comprehensive, option D, rational, and option E, stable. The correct answer is option E. Next question is, which part of the following is a part of the preliminary phase? Option A, creating the architecture vision deliverable. Option B, preparing a consolidated gap analysis. Option C, developing the architecture contract. And option D, defining a set of architecture principles. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which of the following is an objective of the preliminary phase? Option A, develop a vision of the proposed enterprise architecture. Option B, define the process of architecture governance. Option C, create the initial, initial version of the architecture roadmap. Option D, document the baseline architecture and option E, obtain approval for the statement of architecture work. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, complete the sentence. A set of architecture principles that cover every situation perceived needs the recommended criteria of option A completeness, option B robustness, option C stability, option D consistency, and option E understandability. The correct answer is option a next question is which one of the following best describes the purpose of a change request option a to act as a deliverable container for artifacts created during a project option b to request a dispension or to kick start a further cycle of architecture work option c to ensure that information is communicated to the right stakeholder at the right time. Option D, 
to review project progress and ensure the implementation is in line with the objectives and option E to ensure that the results of a compliance assessment are distributed to the architecture board. The correct answer is option B. Next question is what level of risk is the risk categorization prior to determining and implementing mitigating actions? Option A critical residual low sorry option A critical option B residual option C low option D marginal and option E initial and the correct answer is option E next question is which of the following is an objective of ADM phase G implementation governance option A to ensure that the enterprise architecture capability meets current requirements option B to establish the value realization process option C to ensure that the implementation project conform with the target architecture option D to prioritize the projects through risk validation and option E to assess the performance of the architecture and make recommendation for change the correct answer is option C thank you Welcome back to our channel today we are covering question and answers on Togev foundation to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel today's questions are which of the following is a responsibility of an architecture board option a achieving consistency between sub architectures option b creating the statement of architecture work Option C conducting assessments of the maturity level of architecture discipline within the organization. Option D allocating resources for architecture projects. And option E determining the scope of an architecture compliance review. The correct answer is option C. Next question is which ADM phase includes establishing the architecture capability and definition of architecture principles option a phase b business architecture option b preliminary phase option c phase a architecture vision option d phase f migration planning and option e phase c data architecture the correct answer is option B. Next question is which one of the following is considered a relevant architecture resource in ADM phase D? Option A generic data models relevant to the organization's industry sector. Option B existing application models. Option C generic technology models relevant to the organization's industry sector. And option D existing IT services the correct answer is option C next question is the TOGAF ADM uses version numbering to illustrate the evolution of baseline and target architecture definitions which version number is used to indicate a high level outline of the architecture option A version 0.1 Option B version 0.7 Option C version 1.0 Option D version 0.9 and Option E version 0.5 The correct answer is Option A 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ए डी एम फेज डिफाइंस द स्कोप फॉर द आर्किटेक्चर डेवलपमेंट इनिशिएटिव एंड ऑप्टेन्स अप्रूवल टू प्रोसीड विद द आर्किटेक्चर डेवलपमेंट ऑप्शन ए फेज डी टेक्नोलॉजी आर्किटेक्चर ऑप्शन बी फेज ए आर्किटेक्चर विजन ऑप्शन सी रिक्वायरमेंट्स मैनेजमेंट ऑप्शन डी फेज बी बिजनेस आर्किटेक्चर एंड ऑप्शन ई प्रीलिमिनरी फेज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच पार्ट ऑफ द टोग स्टैंडर्ड डिस्कसेज द प्रोसेस स्किल्स एंड रोल्स टू ऑपरेट एन आर्किटेक्चर फंक्शन विद इन एन एंटरप्राइज ऑप्शन ए आर्किटेक्चर डेवलपमेंट मैथड ऑप्शन बी आर्किटेक्चर कैपेबिलिटी फ्रेमवर्क ऑप्शन सी एंटरप्राइज कंटिनम एंड टूल्स ऑप्शन डी आर्किटेक्चर कंटेंट फ्रेमवर्क and option e to get reference models the correct answer is option b next question is in which phase of the to get adm is the focus the creation of an implementation and migration plan in cooperation with the portfolio and project managers option a phase f option b phase d option c phase g option d phase e and option e phase a the correct answer is option a next question is complete the sentence according to the togaf standard and das is a representation of a system from the perspective of a related set of option a architecture view and stakeholders option b architecture viewpoint and stakeholders option c architecture viewpoint and architecture views option d architecture view and requirements and option e architecture view and concerns the correct answer is option e next question is which of the following best describes adm requirements management option a addressing and prioritizing architecture requirements option b managing architecture requirements throughout the adm cycle option c developing requirements that deliver business value option d reviewing business requirements and option e validating requirements between adm phases the correct answer is option b Next question is in which part of the ADM cycle do the earliest building block definitions start as abstract entities option A phase A option B preliminary phase option C phase B C and D option D phases G and H and option e phases e and f the correct answer is option a thank you welcome back to our channel today is we are covering to get foundation to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel today's questions are to give uses a version numbering convention to illustrate the evolution of the baseline and target architecture definitions which version number in this convention indicates a high level outline of the architecture option a 
version 1.0 option b version 0.9 option c version 0.5 option d version 1.5 and option e version 0.1 the correct answer is option e next question is in which idm phase is the goal to ensure that the architecture achieves its original target business value option a phase e option b phase f option c phase g option d phase h and option e preliminary phase the correct answer is option d next question is which idm phase starts with the receipt of a request for architecture work from the sponsoring organization option a phase a architecture vision option b phase b business architecture option c phase h architecture change management option d preliminary phase and option e requirements management the correct answer is option a next question is which of the following is described by the togef architecture content framework as a type of artifact that shows relationships between things option a building block option b catalog option c diagram option d matrix and option e deliverable the correct answer is option d next question is complete the sentence togaf defines five criteria for a good set of principles complete consistent stable understandable and option a a guide option b dynamic option c comprehensive option d robust and option e strategic the correct answer is option d next question is which of the following best describes architecture compliance review option a review of an architecture project against established criteria and business objectives option b review of the readiness and ability of an organization to accept change option c a review of the organization's ability to share information and services option d a review of the baseline and target architectures to identify gaps and option e a review of the plans for enterprise transformation the correct answer is option a next question is complete the sentence the architecture landscape is divided into three levels capability segment and option a baseline option b solution option c strategic option d target and option e transition the correct answer is option c next question is which of the following is a reusable artifact that is used to create architecture models addressing stakeholder concerns option a catalog option b matrix option c diagram option d view and option e viewpoint the correct answer is option e next question is complete the sentence 
Kagev describes the role of an architecture contract as Option A. An agreement between development partners and sponsors on the architecture deliverables. Option B. A plan to ensure that architecture information is communicated to the right stakeholders at the right time. Option C. A set of general rules and guidelines to support development of the enterprise architecture. And option D. A timeline showing progression from the baseline to the target architecture. The correct answer is option A. Next question is, which of the following does TOGAF standard define as the structure of components, their interrelationships and the principles guiding their design and evolution over time? Option A, an architecture view. Option B, an artifact. Option C, a model. Option D, a deliverable. And option E, an architecture. The correct answer is option E. Thank you. channel today's we are covering to get foundation to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel today's questions are which part of TOGAF describes a step-by-step -step approach to developing an enterprise architecture? Option A, ADM guidelines. Option B, architecture capability framework. Option C, architecture content framework. Option D, architecture development method. And option E, Enterprise Continuum and Tools. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which of the following does TOGAF provide as a set of reference materials for establishing an architecture function within an organization? Option A, Architecture Content Framework. Option B, Technical Reference Model. Option C, Integrated Information Infrastructure Reference Model. Option D, Architecture Development Method. And Option E, Architecture Capability Framework. The correct answer is Option E. Next question is, which of the TOGAF architecture development phases is the first phase of an architecture development cycle, defines the scope for an engagement and identifies the stakeholders. Option A, architecture change management. Option B, architecture vision. Option C, business architecture. Option D, Preliminary phase and option E technology architecture. The correct answer is option B. Next question is which of the following does the TOGAF ATF recommend for use in developing the architecture vision? Option A architecture principles, option B business scenarios. Option C, interoperability analysis. Option D, migration planning techniques. And option E, risk management techniques. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, which of the following does the TOGAF document define as architectural work product that describes an aspect of the architecture. 
ऑप्शन ए एप्लीकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म इंटरफेस ऑप्शन बी आर्टिफैक्ट ऑप्शन सी बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक ऑप्शन डी डिलीवरेबल एंड ऑप्शन ई फ्रेमवर्क द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच पार्ट ऑफ दी टू गेफ डॉक्यूमेंट डिस्क्राइब्स टेक्सोनॉमीज फॉर कैटेगराइजेशन दी सॉरी फॉर कैटेगराइजिंग दी आउटपुट्स ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर एक्टिविटी ऑप्शन ए एडीएम गाइडलाइंस एंड टेक्निक्स ऑप्शन बी आर्किटेक्चर कैपेबिलिटी फ्रेमवर्क ऑप्शन सी आर्किटेक्चर डेवलपमेंट मेथड एंड ऑप्शन डी एंटरप्राइज कंटेनर एंड टूल्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग इज डिस्क्राइब बाय दी टू गेव डॉक्यूमेंट एज अ डिटेल्ड प्लान ऑफ द सिस्टम एट कॉम्पोनेंट लेवल टू गाइड इट्स इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑप्शन ए आर्किटेक्चर ऑप्शन बी आर्टिफैक्ट ऑप्शन सी डिलीवरेबल ऑप्शन डी मॉडल एंड ऑप्शन ई व्यू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंप्लीट द सेंटेंस The standard information base is repository area that option A defines the parameters structures and processes to support governance of the architecture repository option B describes the organization specific architecture framework and method option C lists a set of specifications to which architectures must conform option D provides a record of the governance activity across the enterprise and option e provide guidelines templates and patterns used to create new architectures the correct answer is option c next question is which of the following does the to gap document describe as the risk categorization prior to determining and implementing mitigating actions option a the critical level of risk option b the initial level of risk option c the intermediate level of risk option d the mitigated level of risk and option e the residual level of risk the correct answer is option b next question is in phase b c and d of the adm cycle the first step defined is to select reference models viewpoints and tools which of the following is the next step in each of these phases option a conduct formal stakeholder review option b create architecture definition document option c develop baseline architecture option d perform gap analysis and option e resolve impacts across the architecture landscape and the correct answer is option c thank you back to our channel today we are covering questions and answers on toga foundation To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are: In which part of the ADM cycle are building blocks evolved using a common platform of steps? Option A: Preliminary phase, read phase A. option b phase b c and d option c e phase e and f and option d
phase is grid edge the correct answer is option c next question is which section of the togef template for architecture principles should describe situations where one principle would be given precedence over another option a implications option b name option c rational option d statement and option e trade oils the correct answer is option c next question is complete the sentence the architecture landscape is divided into three levels strategic architectures segment architectures and option a baseline architectures option b capability architectures option c solution architectures option d target architectures and option e transition architectures the correct answer is option b next question is the togef adm uses a version numbering convention to illustrate the evolution of baseline and target architecture definitions what does version 1.0 indicate according to this convention option a a high level outline architecture option b a preliminary outline architecture option c a formally reviewed detailed architecture option d a draft detailed architecture and option e a formally reviewed preliminary architecture the correct answer is option c next question is which of the following types of architecture defines technology standards for building blocks and provides direction for products and services option a common system architecture option b foundation architecture option c industry architecture option d organization specific architecture and option e transition architecture the correct answer is option b next question is which one of the following best describes the purpose of the communications plan option a to act as a deliverable container for artifacts created during a project option b to ensure that information is communicated to the right stakeholders at the right time option c to ensure that the results of a compliance assessment are distributed to the architecture board option d to inform the architecture board of changes to the architecture and option e to show progression of change from the baseline architecture to the target architecture the correct answer is option b next question is to give part 7 architecture capability framework recommends use of an adm cycle for establishing an architecture practice In this scenario which architecture will describe the organizational structure for the architecture practice Option A application architecture Option B business architecture Option C data architecture Option D technology architecture and option E transition architecture the correct answer is option b next question is which one of the following best describes capability based planning 
Option A. Planning technique that ensures business information is communicated to the right people at the right time. Option B. A planning technique that ensures the application of business best practices. Option C. A planning technique that ensures timely solutions. Option D. A planning technique that focuses on business outcomes. And option E. A planning technique that defines services to be shared. The correct answer is option D. Next question is complete the sentence. The architectural landscape is divided into three levels. Capability architectures, segment architectures and option A. Baseline architectures. Option B. Solution architectures. Option C. Strategic architectures. Option D. Target architectures. And option E. Transition architecture. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which of the following does the TOGAF document define as the representation of a related set of concerns? Option A. Catalog. Option B. Matrix. Option C. Diagram. Option D. View. And option E, viewpoint. The correct answer is option D. Thank you. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering question and answers on Togev Foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are In which phase of the TOGAF ADM are the architecture roadmap and implementation and migration plan integrated with other change activity in the enterprise? Option A Phase A Option B Phase D Option C Phase E Option D Phase F and option E, phase G. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which part of the TOGAF document describes an overview of typical architecture deliverables? Option A, ADM guidelines and techniques. Option B, architecture capability framework. Option C, architecture content framework. Option D, Enterprise Content Framework and Option E, to get reference tools. The correct answer is Option C. Next question is, which section of the TOGAF template for architecture principles should clearly state the impact to the business and consequences of adopting the principle? Option A, Implications. Option B, Name. Option C, Rational. And Option D, Statement. The correct answer is Option A. Next question is, which of the following describes a purpose of an architecture compliance review? Option A, identifying relationships between management frameworks. Option B, identifying stakeholders and their concerns. Option C, identifying the business transformation risk for an architecture project. Option D, identifying criteria for procurement activities. And option E, identifying work packets for inclusion in the architecture roadmap. The correct answer is option D. 
Next question is complete the sentence. There are five criteria that distinguish a good set of principles. Understandable, robust, complete, consistent and option A. A guy. Option B. Dynamic. Option C. Comprehensive. Option D. Rational. And option E. Stable. The correct answer is option E. Next question is which part of the following is a part of the preliminary phase? Option A creating the architecture vision deliverable. Option B preparing a consolidated gap analysis. Option C developing the architecture contract. And option D defining a set of architecture principles. The correct answer is option D. Next question is which of the following is an objective of the preliminary phase? Option A develop a vision of the proposed enterprise architecture. Option B define the process of architecture governance. Option C create the initial vis initial version of the architecture roadmap. Option D document the baseline architecture and option E obtain approval for the statement of architecture work. The correct answer is option B. Next question is complete the sentence. A set of architecture principles that cover every situation perceived meets the recommended criteria of option A completeness, option B robustness, option C stability, option D consistency and option E understandability. The correct answer is option A. Next question is which one of the following best describes the purpose of a change request? Option A to act as a deliverable container for artifacts created during a project. Option B to request a dispension or to kick start a further cycle of architecture work. Option C to ensure that information is communicated to the right stakeholder at the right time. Option D to review project progress and ensure the implementation is in line with the objectives. And option E to ensure that the results of a compliance assessment are distributed to the architecture board. The correct answer is option B. Next question is what level of risk is the risk categorization prior to determining and implementing mitigating actions? Option A critical residual low. Sorry. Option A critical, Option B residual, Option C low, Option D marginal and Option E initial and the correct answer is Option E. Next question is which of the following is an objective of ADM phase G? Implementation governance. Option A to ensure that the enterprise architecture capability meets current requirements. Option B to establish the value realization process. Option C to ensure that the implementation project conform with the target architecture. Option D to prioritize the projects through risk validation 
and option E to assess the performance of the architecture and make recommendation for change. The correct answer is option C. Thank you. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering question and answers on Togev Foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are Which of the following is a responsibility of an architecture board? Option A Achieving consistency between sub architectures. Option B Creating the statement of architecture work. Option C Conducting assessments of the maturity level of architecture discipline within the organization. Option D Allocating resources for architecture projects. And option E Determining the scope of an architecture compliance review. The correct answer is option C. Next question is Which ADM phase includes establishing the architecture capability and definition of architecture principles? Option A Phase B Business architecture. Option B Preliminary phase. Option C Phase A Architecture vision. Option D Phase F Migration Planning and Option E Phase C Data Architecture. The correct answer is Option B. Next question is Which one of the following is considered a relevant architecture resource in ADM Phase D? Option A Generic data models relevant to the organization's industry sector. Option B, existing application models. Option C, generic technology models relevant to the organization's industry sector. And option D, existing IT services. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, the TOGAF ADM uses version numbering to illustrate the Evolution of baseline and target architecture. Definitions. Which version number is used to indicate a high level outline of the architecture? Option A. Version 0.1. Option B. Version 0.7. Option C. Version 1.0. Option D. Version 0.9. And option E version 0.5. The correct answer is option A. Next question is which ADM phase defines the scope for the architecture development initiative and obtains approval to proceed with the architecture development? Option A phase D technology architecture. Option B Phase A Architecture Vision Option C Requirements Management Option D Phase B Business Architecture and Option E Preliminary Phase The correct answer is Option B Next question is which part of the TOGAF standard discusses the process, skills, and roles to operate an architecture function within an enterprise? Option A. Architecture development method. Option B. Architecture capability framework. Option C. Enterprise continuum and tools. Option D. Architecture content framework. And option E to get reference models. The correct answer is option B. Next question is In which phase of the TOGAF ADM is the focus? The creation of an implementation and migration plan in cooperation with the portfolio and project managers. Option A Phase F. 
ऑप्शन बी फेज डी ऑप्शन सी फेज जी ऑप्शन डी फेज ई एंड ऑप्शन ई फेज ए द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंप्लीट द सेंटेंस अकॉर्डिंग टू दोग्राफ स्टैंडर्ड एंड दैस इज अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अ सिस्टम फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ अ रिलेटेड सेट ऑफ ऑप्शन ए आर्किटेक्चर व्यू एंड स्टेक होल्डर्स ऑप्शन बी आर्किटेक्चर व्यू पॉइंट एंड स्टेक होल्डर्स ऑप्शन सी आर्किटेक्चर व्यू पॉइंट एंड आर्किटेक्चर व्यूज ऑप्शन डी आर्किटेक्चर व्यू एंड रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड ऑप्शन ई आर्किटेक्चर व्यू एंड कंसर्न्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बेस्ट डिस्क्राइब्स एडीएम रिक्वायरमेंट्स मैनेजमेंट ऑप्शन ए एड्रेसिंग एंड प्रायोरिटाइजिंग आर्किटेक्चर रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑप्शन बी मैनेजिंग आर्किटेक्चर रिक्वायरमेंट्स थ्रू आउट द एडीएम साइकिल ऑप्शन सी डेवलपिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स दैट डिलीवर बिजनेस वैल्यू ऑप्शन डी रिव्यूइंग बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड ऑप्शन ई वैलिडेटिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स बिटवीन एडीएम फेजेस द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी next question is in which part of the adm cycle do the earliest building block definitions start as abstract entities option a phase a option b preliminary phase option c phase b c and d option d phases g and h and option e phases e and f the correct answer is option a thank you channel today we are covering question and answers on the gap foundation to find the complete list of question and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel today's Questions are: Which of the following describes a purpose of an architecture compliance review? Option A: Identifying the business transformation risks for an architecture project. Option B: Identifying where standards may require modification. Option C: Identifying relationships between management frameworks. And option D: Identifying stakeholders and their concerns. The correct answer is option B. Next question is: Within the architecture repository, what does the class of information known as the architecture capability include? Option A: The organization-specific architecture framework, including a method for architecture development and a meta model for architecture content. Option B: A record of the governance activity across the enterprise. option c parameters structures and process to support governance of the repository option d specifications to which architectures must conform and option e patterns templates and guidelines used to create new architecture the correct answer is option c next question is which is the final step in the architecture development phases B, C, and D. Option A: Conduct formal stakeholder review. Option B: Define roadmap components. Option C: Resolve impact across the architecture landscape. Option D: Create architecture definition document. And option E: Select reference models, architecture viewpoints, and tools. The correct answer is option D. Next question is complete the sentence. 
The program standard covers the development of four architecture domains, applications, data. Option A, business and technology. Option B, information and technology. Option C, baseline and transition. Option D, vision and requirements. And option E, capability and segment. The correct answer is option A. Next question is, which of the following are interests important to the stakeholders in a system? Option A, concerns. Option B, principles. Option C, architecture viewpoints. Option D, requirements. And option E, architecture views. The correct answer is option A. Next question is complete the sentence. The major information areas managed by a governance repository should include option A, catalogs, metrics, and diagrams. Option B, capability, segment, and transition architectures. Option C, audit information, process, status, and reference data. Option D, common system solutions, organization special solutions, and industry solutions. And option E, artifacts, best practices, and standards. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which of the following are considered as generic building blocks in the solutions continuum? Option A, common system solution. Option B, foundation solutions. Option C, industry solutions. Option D, organization specific solutions. And option E, static solutions. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, why does the TOGAF standard recommend that the business architecture be developed first? Option A, it contains a high level description of the business strategy for the organization. Option B, it mobilizes operations to support the ongoing business architecture development. Option C, it provides Pocusets knowledge for undertaking architecture work in the other domains. Option D, it is the key document describing how the new architecture capability will meet the business goals. And option E, it includes preparation activities such as customization of the method. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, in which phase, sorry, in which ADM phase does the value and change management process determine the circumstances under which the enterprise architecture is permitted to change after deployment? Option A, phase F. Option B, phase E. Option C, phase G. Option D, phase H. And option E, preliminary phase. The correct answer is option D. Thank you. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering question and answers on Together Foundation. To find the complete list of question and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, Please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are Which of the following best describes the purpose of the architecture requirement specification? Option A It provides a list of work packets and a schedule for implementation of the target architecture. Option B It defines the scope and approach to complete an architecture project. Option C it provides a set of statements that outline what a project must do to comply with the architecture. Option D, it is sent from the sponsor and triggers the start of an architecture development cycle. 
option e it contains an assessment of the current architecture requirements the correct answer is option c next question is an ADM cycle can be used to establish an architecture capability within an organization. Which architecture produced in such a cycle describe the architecture processes and organization structure? Option A. Business architecture. Option B. Application architecture. Option C. Technology architecture. Option D. Data architecture. And option E, transition architecture. The correct answer is option A. Now moving to next question. Which of the following are solutions of TOGEF library? Option E, common system solution, organization specific solutions and industry solutions. Option B, Catalogs, matrices, and diagrams. Option C, reference data, template, and patterns. Option D, generic guidance and techniques and organization specific guidance and techniques. And option E, standard information base, governance log, and reference library. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which one of the following categories from the document categorization model consists of the normative parts of TOGAF which are considered central to its usage? Option A, TOGAF core. Option B, TOGAF mandated. Option C, TOGAF recommended. Option D, TOGAF referenced. And option E to GAF supporting. The correct answer is option B. Next question is which model within TOGAF is intended to assist with the release management of the TOGAF specification? Option E the capability maturity model. Option B the document categorization model. Option C the integrated infrastructure information model. Option D, the organizational model for enterprise architecture. And option E, the technical reference model. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, which one of the following lists the main components within the TOGAF architecture repository? Option A, Organizational meta model, architecture capability, architecture landscape, best practices, reference library, compliance strategy. Option B, architecture meta model, organizational capability model, application landscape, SIB, reference library, governance model. Option C, business meta model. Architecture Capability, Architecture Landscape, SIB, Reference Library, Governance Log, and Option D, Architecture Meta Model, Architecture Capability, Architecture Landscape, SIB, Reference Library, and Governance Log. The correct answer is Option D. Next question is According to TOGAF, which of the following are the architecture domains that are commonly accepted subsets of an overall enterprise architecture? Option A Application, Business, Data, Technology. Option B Capability, Segment, Strategic. Option C Context. Definition, Governance, Transformation Option D, Definition, Realization, Transition, Vision The correct answer is Option A. 
Next question is according to Drugev, which one of the following best describes an enterprise architecture? Option A, an architecture of a commercial organization. Option B, an architecture that consists of more than one subsidiary company, actualtest.com. Option C, an architecture that crosses multiple systems and multiple functional groups within the enterprise. And option D, the highest level of architecture that can be achieved in a given organization. The correct answer is option C. Thank you. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering question and answers on Together Foundation. To find the complete list of question and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are Which one of the following describes classification methods for architecture and solution artifacts within the architecture repository? Option A Architecture Landscape Option B Architecture Vision Option C Enterprise Continuum Option D Governance Log and Option E standards information base the correct answer is option C next question is what part of the architecture repository holds specifications to which architectures must conform option A standards information base option B enterprise continuum option C governance log Option D, Architecture Landscape and Option E, Reference Library. The correct answer is Option A. Next question is, an association of companies has defined a data model for sharing inventory and pricing information. Which of the following best describes where this model would fit in the architecture continuum? Option A, Foundation Architecture. Option B, Common Systems Architecture. Option C, Industry Architecture. Option D, Organization Specific Architecture. And Option E, Product Line Architecture. The correct answer is Option C. Next question is, which one of the following is a key objective of phase A of the TOGAF ADM? Option A to create a roadmap that describes the evolution of the architecture over time. Option B to prepare a solution architecture for the enterprise. Option C to define an IT strategy that maps out the technology infrastructure. Option D to allocate the resources needed to implement the architecture project and option E to articulate an architecture vision. The correct answer is option E. Now moving to next question. What document is used to initiate a TOGAF ADM cycle? Option A. Architecture roadmap. Option B. The statement of architecture work option C architecture landscape option D request for architecture work and option E architecture vision the correct answer is option D next question is complete the sentence a server consolidation project that does not change the operating characteristics of the applications would require option a a complete adm cycle option b a complete de-architecting change option c a full revision of the enterprise architecture and option d an incremental change and option e a simplification change The correct answer is option E. Next question is, 
Which one of the following is an objective of the preliminary phase of the ADM? Option A to define a scope and prioritize architecture tasks. Option B to define the architecture principles. Option C to develop a target business architecture. Option D to obtain management commitment for this cycle of the ADM actual test. Dot com and option E to prioritize work packing. The correct answer is option B. Next question is in the preliminary phase, which of the following drives the requirements and performance metrics when scoping the enterprise architecture work? Option A architecture governance. Option B Business imperatives. Option C. Solution architecture. Option D. Service level agreements. And option E. Time horizon. The correct answer is option B. Next question is the requirements management phase is responsible for which one of the following activities? Option A. Addressing requirements. Option B. Disposal of resolved requirements. Option C. Generating requirements. Option D. Managing the flow of requirements. And option E. Prioritizing requirements. The correct answer is option D. Thank you. To our channel, today we are covering question and answers on Together Foundation. To find the complete list of question and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are: Complete the sentence. The business transformation readiness assessment technique is primarily focused on option A, determining if the organization is ready to accept change. Option B. Planning the migration steps needed to achieve the transformation. Option C. Ensuring that there are adequate trained developers and engineers to implement the solution. Option D. Ensuring that there is sufficient financial capacity to execute the desired transformation. And Option E. Determining if there is adequate stakeholder support for the implementation process. The correct answer is option A. Next question is, which of the following statements does not correctly describe architecture principles? Option A. They are most effective when they are impressed and used across the organization. Option B. They are based on enterprise principles. Option C, they are detailed policies that describe behaviors and requirements. And option D, even though they may appear generic, they should be tailored to reflect an organization's culture and goal. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, complete the sentence. All of the following are sections of the recommended template for defining architecture principles except Option A, name. Option B, statement of principles. Option C, rational. Option D, enforcement policy. And option E, implications. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which one of the following lists the five quality criteria for defining architecture principles? Option A, rational, explained, precise, stated, identifiable. Option B, comprehensive, future-proof, short, concise, consistent. Option C, open, enabling, flexible, agile, dynamic. And option D, stable, Understandable, complete, 
रॉबस्ट कंसिस्टेंट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंप्लीट द सेंटेंस द की पर्पस ऑफ गैप एनालिसिस इज टू डैश एक्चुअल टेस्ट डॉट कॉम ऑप्शन ए एस्टेब्लिश क्वालिटी पैरामीटर्स फॉर द आर्किटेक्चर ऑप्शन बी आइडेंटिफाई पोटेंशियल मिसिंग और ओवरलैपिंग फंक्शंस ऑप्शन सी वैलिडेट नॉन फंक्शनल रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑप्शन डी आइडेंटिफाई कमर्शियल बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक टू बी परचेज एंड ऑप्शन ए डिटरमाइन द रिक्वायर्ड सर्विस लेवल्स फॉर द आर्किटेक्चर the correct answer is option b now we into next question which phase of the adm focuses on the governance and management of the architecture contracts that cover the overall implementation and deployment process option a requirements management option b phase e option c phase f option d phase g and option e phase h the correct answer is option d next question is complete the sentence all of the following are parts of the conceptual structure of the trugaf architecture governance framework except option a content option b context option c process flow control option d repository and option e vision the correct answer is option e next question is complete the sentence the architecture board is typically responsible and accountable for achieving all of the following goals except option a ensuring consistency between sub architectures option b approving the strategic business plans proposed by individual organization units within the enterprise option c enforcement of architecture compliance option d identifying and approving components for reuse and option e providing the basis for all decision making with regard to changes to the architecture the correct answer is option b next question is which of the following best describes the purpose of an architecture compliance review option a to review the validity of a project's architecture vision option b to review a project for compliance to external laws and regulations option c to review a project against established architecture criteria and business objectives and option d to ensure that stakeholder concerns are being addressed by a project the correct answer is option c next question is to give provides guidelines on how to use the adm to establish an architecture capability which one of the following is not a correct guideline option a use the same approach as with any other capability option b regard the establishment as on ongoing practice option c apply the adm with the specific vision to establish the practice and option d treat the establishment as a one off project the correct answer is option d next question is which one of the following is defined by to give as the fundamental organization of a system embedded in its components their relationships to each other and the principles guiding its design and evolution option a architecture option b meta model option c model option d ontology and option e pattern the correct answer is option A Next question is complete the sentence Intergraph architecture viewpoints represents Option A 
observations of the CIO and CTO. Option B, opinions of the sponsors. Option C, observations of the architect staff. Option D, concerns of stakeholders. And option E, stakeholder requirements. The correct answer is option D. Thank you. Back to our channel. Today's we are covering question and answers on Together Foundation. To find the complete list of question and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are Which one of the following statements about Together Building Block is not true? Option A They should not be reused in other enterprise architecture projects. Option B they should have stable published interfaces that allow other building blocks to incorporate with them. Option C, they are packets of functionality intent to meet the business needs across the organization. And option D, they have defined boundaries. The correct answer is option A. Next question is, which pair of the following responses best completes the sentence? Architecture building blocks dash, whereas solutions building blocks dash. Option A are assemble are single functions components. Option B are single function components are group of architecture building blocks. Option C are reusable are not reusable. Option D Define the architecture. Provide the existing legacy system. Option E. Define functionality. Define the implementation of functionality. The correct answer is option E. Now moving to next question. According to Togaf, which one of the following best describes the purpose of the architecture definition document? Option A, an agreement between development partners and sponsors on the deliverables. Option B, a description to allow measurement of the compliance of the implementation. Option C, a description to communicate the intent of the architect. Option D, a document that triggers the start of an architecture development cycle and option E a set of general rules and guidelines the correct answer is option C next question is according to TOGAF who usually initiates a request for architecture work option A the architecture organization option B the CIO or CTO, option C, the corporate governance board, option D, the senior management, and option E, the sponsoring organization. And the correct answer is option E. Next question is, which of the following is a true statement about the TOGAF technical reference model? You can go through these options. And the correct answer is option D. Next question is complete the sentence. The integrated information infrastructure reference model is an example of that's architecture reference model. Option A, application. Option B, business. Option C, data. And option D, technology. And the correct answer is option A. Next question is, complete the sentence. According to TOGAF, the simplest way of thinking about the enterprise container measure is as a option A configuration database, 
ऑप्शन बी लाइब्रेरी ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर आर्टिफेक्ट ऑप्शन सी रिक्वायरमेंट्स मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम ऑप्शन डी स्टैंडर्ड्स इंफॉर्मेशन बेस एंड ऑप्शन ई व्यू ऑफ द आर्किटेक्चर डिपोजिटरी एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विथ वट क्लास ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर इंफॉर्मेशन विच इन द आर्किटेक्चर डिपोजिटरी डिफाइंस प्रोसेस that support governance of the architecture repository option a architecture capability option b architecture landscape option c architecture meta model option d governance log and option e reference library and the correct answer is option a next question is which one of the following is the most generic artifact in the architecture continuum option a common systems architecture option b foundation architecture option c industry architecture option d organization specific architecture and option e product line architecture and the correct answer is option b thank you back to our channel today we are covering to get foundation to find the complete list of question and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel Today's questions are complete the sentence as the architecture evolves the assets in the solutions continuum progress towards a option a common systems architecture option b industry specific architecture option c foundation solution option d organization specific solution and option e technology neutral implementation and the correct answer is option d next question is in which adm phase are the business principles business goals and strategic drivers first validated option a preliminary phase option b phase a option c phase b option d phase h and option e requirements management phase the correct answer is option b next question is which one of the following best describes a primary use of the architecture vision document option a a checklist for compliance review option b an evolution tool to select vendors to conduct a proof of concept demonstrations option c a tool for calculating detailed cost estimates option d a tool for project planning the implementation activities actualtest.com and option e a tool for selling the benefits of the proposed capability to stakeholders the correct answer is option e next question is which of the following is not an objective for phase b business architecture option a defining the strategic business plan option b describing the baseline business architecture option c developing the target business architecture and option d selecting relevant view points for key stakeholders pass any exam any time the correct answer is option a next question is which one of the following is not an objective for phase c data architecture option a defining an architecture that can be understood by the stakeholders option b 
defining an architecture that is complete and consistent option c defining an architecture that is stable option d defining data entities that are normalized to minimize update anomalies and option e defining data entities relevant to the enterprise and the correct answer is option d next question is which one of the following is the most relevant model for use in phase c application architecture option a the r data model option b the integrated information infrastructure reference model option c the resource event agent model option d the step framework and option E, the Trograph Technical Reference Model. And the correct answer is option B. Now moving to next question. In phase G, what document establishes the connection between architecture organization and the implementation organization? Option A, architecture construct. Option B, architecture landscape. Option C, architecture roadmap. Option D, requirements impact statement. And option E, transition architecture. The correct answer is option A. Next question is, which one of the following is not part of the approach to phase H, architecture change management? Option A, business scenarios. Option B, capacity measurement. Option C, change management. And option D, measuring business growth. And the correct answer is option A. Next question is, when determining the requirements for enterprise architecture work in the preliminary phase, which of the following is not a business imperative that should be considered? Option A, business requirements. Option B, cultural aspirations. Option C, forecast financial requirements. Option D, strategic intent. And option E, technical elegance. And the correct answer is option E. Next question is, which phase of the ADM is an ongoing activity that is visited throughout a TOGAF architecture project? Option A, architecture change management. Option B, implementation governance. Option C, migration planning. Option D, preliminary phase and option E, requirements management. And the correct answer is option E. Thank you. Of the TOGAF Foundation. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. The first question is, which of the following TOGAF components was created to enable architects to design architectures addressing boundaryless formation flow? And the options are, option A, the architecture repository, option B, the enterprise continuum, Option C, the integrated information infrastructure model. And option D, the TOGAF technical reference model. And the correct answer is option C. Now moving to the next question. Which of the following best describes the TOGAF technical reference model? Option A, it is a detailed data model that can be tailored to specific industries. Option B, 
It is an example of a common system architecture. Option C. It is a fundamental architecture upon which more specific architectures can be based. And option D. It is a model of application components and application services software including brokering application. And the correct answer is option C. Now moving to the next question. Which of the following statements about the structure of the TOGAF 9 document is true? You can go through these options. And the correct answer is option E. Now moving to the next question. Which phase of the ADM ensures that implementation projects conform to the defined architecture? Option A. Requirements management. Option B. Phase D. Option C. Phase F. Option D. Phase G. And option E. Phase H. And the correct answer is option D. Now moving to the next question. Complete the sentence. The requirements management phase. Option A. Addresses and resolves requirements between ADM phases. Option B. Is a central process that prioritizes requirements for all ADM phases. Option C. Is used to dispose of resolved requirements for all ADM phases. Option D. Generates new requirements and passes them to all ADM phases. And option E stores requirements and manages their flow into relevant ADM phases. And the correct answer is option E. Now moving to the next question. Which of the following is an objective of the preliminary phase of the ADM? Option A, to define the baseline architecture for this cycle of the ADM. Option B, to define the application systems for the target architecture. Option C, to define the framework and methodologies to be used. Option D, to define the relevant stakeholders and their concerns. And option E, to define and Prioritize work packages. And the correct answer is option C. Now moving to the next question. According to TOGAF, when creating views for a particular architecture, what is the recommended first step? Option A. Design a viewpoint to address all stakeholder concerns. Option B. Develop views for the target architecture first. Option C. Ensure completeness of the architecture. And option D. Refer to existing libraries of viewpoints to identify one for the use. And the correct answer is option D. Now moving to the next question. Which of the following architectures in the architecture continuum contains the most reusable architecture elements? Option A. Common system architectures. Option B. Foundation architectures. Option C. Industry architectures. And option D. Organization specific architectures. And the correct answer is option B. Now moving to the next question. Which of the following describes the architecture vision document? Option A. A description of individual change increments showing progression from the baseline to target architecture. Option B. 
a detailed schedule for implementation of the target architecture. Option C, a high level description of the baseline and target architecture. Option D, a joint agreement between the development team and sponsor on the deliverables and quality of an architecture. And option E, a set of rules and guidelines to support fulfilling the mission of the organization. And the correct answer is option C. Now moving to the next question. According to TOGF, which of the following best describes how the enterprise continuum is used in organizing and developing an architecture? Option A. It is used to coordinate with the other management frameworks in use. It is used to describe how an architecture addresses stakeholder concerns. Option C. It is used to identify and understand business requirements. Option D. It is used to provide a system for continuous monitoring. And option E. It is used to structure reusable architecture and solution assets. And the correct answer is option E. Now moving to the next question. What, what document is sent from the sponsoring organization to the architecture organization to trigger the start of an ADM cycle? Option A, architecture contract. Option B, architecture definition document. Option C, architecture vision. Option D, request for architecture work. And option E, statement of architecture work. And the correct answer is option D. Thank you. Today we are covering Togev Foundation. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. To find the complete list of questions and answers, Please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Now today's first question is According to TOGAF, which of the following best describes architecture governance? Option A. Categorization mechanism for architecture and solution artifact. Option B. A framework for operational and change activity. Option C, a method for designing an information system in terms of a set of building blocks. Option D, the life cycle management of information and related technology used by an organization. And option E, the practice by which enterprise architectures are controlled at an enterprise wide level. And the correct answer is option E. Now moving to the next question, which component within the architecture repository holds best practice or template materials that can be used to construct architectures? Option A, architecture capability. Option B, architecture landscape. Option C, architecture meta model. Option D, governance log. And option E, Reference library and the correct answer is option E. Now moving to the next question. Complete the sentence. According to TOGAF, all the following are responsibilities of an architecture board except Option A. Allocating resources for architecture projects. Option B. Decision making for changes in the architecture. Option C. Enforcing architecture compliance. Option D. Improving the maturity of the organization's architecture discipline. And option E. Production of governance materials. And the correct answer is option A. Now moving to the next question. According to TOGAF, which of the following best describes the purpose of a compliance assessment? Option A. 
to ensure that architectural information is communicated to the right stakeholders at the right time option b to govern the architecture throughout its implementation process option c to provide a high level view of the end architecture product and option d to show progression of change from the baseline architecture to the target architecture and the correct answer is option b now moving to the next question which of the following describes a key objective of the technology architecture phase option a to define the solution architecture needed to support the application architecture option b to define technology components into a set of technology platforms option c to define the transition architectures needed to achieve the target architecture option d to develop a migration plan to deliver incremental capabilities option e to select a set of technology products that will form the basis of a solution architecture and the correct answer is option b now moving to the next question which of the following statements best describes why the adm should be adapted option a to align it closer to the business option b to make the use more realistic option c to move through the cycle faster and option d to suit the specific needs of the enterprise and the correct answer is option d now moving to the next question in which phase of the togaf adm are gap analysis results from earlier phases consolidated option a phase d option b phase e option c phase f option d phase g and option e phase h and the correct answer is option b now moving to the next question which of the following best describes the purpose of a business scenario option a to define and plan an enterprise architecture transformation based on capability based planning option b to develop a set of general rules and guidelines for the architecture being developed option c to develop a set of security guidelines for the architecture being developed option d to help identify and understand the business requirements that an architecture must address and option e to identify and mitigate the risks when implementing an architecture project and the correct answer is option b now moving to the next question according to togaf which of the following best describes the classification of architectural change in the case where multiple server systems are being consolidated to a single system option a a bottom change to enhance operational capability option b an incremental change handled via change management technique option c a rearchitecting change that puts the whole architecture through an adm cycle option d a revision change of the enterprise architecture and option e a simplification change handled via change management techniques and the correct answer is option e thank you welcome to our channel today's we are covering togaf foundation if you like this content 
प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल टू फाइंड द कम्प्लीट लिस्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर प्लीज गो टू द्ले लिस्ट लिंक प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ टू डेज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट बेस्ट डिस्क्राइब द पर्पज ऑफ एंटरप्राइज आर्किटेक्चर ऑप्शन ए टू अलाउ एन एंटरप्राइज टू एक्सप्लॉय द लेटेस्ट ट्रेंड्स इन टेक्नोलॉजी ऑप्शन बी टू इनेबल द सी आई ओ टू टेक इफेक्टिव कंट्रोल ऑफ द बिजनेस यूनिट अक्रॉस एन एंटरप्राइज ऑप्शन सी टू इंश्योर कंप्लेन्स इन एन एंटरप्राइज टू कॉर्पोरेट ऑडिटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑप्शन डी to optimize an enterprise into an environment that is responsive to business needs and option e to provide a set of standards that all actors must adhere to within an enterprise and the correct answer is option d now moving to the next question which of the following statements best describes how architecture principles are used within the adm option a they are used to define the framework and detailed methodologies option b they are used to define stakeholders and their concerns option c they are used to determine the readiness factors impacting the organization option d they are used to guide decision making within the enterprise and option e they are used to resolve and dispose of requirements and the correct answer is option d now moving to the next question which of the following statements about togaf building blocks and their use in the adm cycle is correct option a building block become more implementation specific in phase e building blocks in phase d e and f are evolved to common pattern of steps option c building block should be identified in abstract form as part of the preliminary phase and option d building blocks should be first selected in phase d and the correct answer is option a now moving to the next question which of the following is an objective of phase a of the togaf adm option a to allocate the resources needed to implement the architecture project option b to define the framework that is going to be used to develop the enterprise architecture option c to define an it strategy that maps out the technology infrastructure option d to prepare a solution architecture for the enterprise and option e to secure formal approval to proceed and the correct answer is option e now moving to the next question complete the sentence togaf 9 part 3 provides a let set of resources that can be used to adapt and modify the option a architecture capability option b architecture development method option c architectural landscape option d architecture repository and option e enterprise continuum and the correct answer is option b now moving to the next question which of the following best describes how togaf defines an enterprise option a any collection of organizations that has a common set of goals option b any corporation with more than 10000 employees option c any organization involved in commerce 
option d any organization whose stock is traded and option e any set of organizations based at the same geographic location and the correct answer is option a now moving to the next question which of the following is an objective of phase b business architecture option a to confirm the ability of the enterprise to undergo change option b to demonstrate how stakeholder concerns are addressed in the business architecture option c to develop a target technology architecture to support the business option d to finalize the architecture vision and architecture definition documents and option e to maximize the business value from the architecture and the correct answer is option b now moving to the next question which of the togaf template for architecture principles should highlight the business benefit for adhering to the principle option a implications option b name option c rational and option d statement and the correct answer is option c thank you welcome to our channel today we are covering together foundation if you like this content please like and subscribe to our channel to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description now today's questions are which of the following is defined by together as a representation of a system from the perspective of a related set of concerns option a architecture building block option b capability architecture option c statement of work option d view and option e viewpoint and the correct answer is option d complete the sentence the togaf architecture governance framework includes option a a list of responsibilities for running an architecture board a model for governance including process content and context option c guidance for establishing an architecture capability using the adm and option d the architecture compliance review process and checklist and the correct answer is option b now moving to the next question in the solutions continuum which of the following is the correct order of solutions ranging from generic solution to enterprise specific solution option a foundation common systems industry organization specific option b industry foundation common systems organization specific option c organization specific industry common systems foundation and option d organization specific industry foundation common system and the correct answer is option a which one of the following best describes the purpose of adm phase e option a to define the initial implementation plans option b to define the scope 
identifying stakeholders and obtaining approvals. Option C to develop the technology architecture. Option D to manage requirements throughout the ADM. And option E to perform architectural oversight for the implementation. And the correct answer is option A. Now moving to the next question. Which of the following statements about Togel building block is true? Option A. Building blocks at a functional level are known as solutions building blocks. Option B. Solutions building blocks are selected in phase A, B, C and D. Option C. The specification of a building block should be loosely coupled to its implementation. And option D. The gap analysis technique should be used to identify building block for reuse. And the correct answer is option C. What part of the architecture depository shows the building blocks that are currently in use within the organization? Option A, architecture landscape. Option B, architecture meta model. Option C, governance log. Option D, reference library. And option E, standards information base. And the correct answer is option A. Now moving to the next question. Which one of the following is responsible for the acceptance and sign off of an architecture compliance review? Option A, architecture board. Option B, architecture review coordinator. Option C, CIO. Option D, Lead Enterprise Architect and Option E Project Leader and the correct answer is Option A. Now moving to the next question. According to Togav, in which phase of the ADM should an initial assessment of business transformation readiness occur? Option A, preliminary phase. Option B, phase A. Option C, phase B. Option D, phase F. And option E, phase G. And the correct answer is option B. Complete the sentence. A gap analysis will enable the architect to do all of the following except Option A. Identify building blocks that have been inadvertently omitted. Option B. Identify building blocks that have been intentionally eliminated. Option C. Identify building blocks to be carried over. Option D. Identify new building blocks that are needed. And Option E. Identify potential vendors to provide new building blocks. And the correct answer is Option E. Thank you. Today we are covering Together Foundation. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Today's questions are Which of the following best describes an approach for adapting the ADM in the situation where the business case for doing architecture is not well recognized? Option A. Completion of the business architecture should follow the information systems architecture. Option B. Create an architecture vision 
and then a detailed business architecture. Option C, reduce a cut down version of the ATM suitable to the resources available. Option D, tailor the ATM in conjunction with another architecture framework that has deliverables specific to the vertical sector. And option E, tailor the ADN to reflect the relationships with and dependencies on other management process within the organization. And the correct answer is option B. Next question is, what technique does Trigger recommend for evaluating the status of an organization to undergo change? Option A. Business Transformation Readiness Assessment Option B. Business Value Assessment Technique Option C. Capability Based Planning Option D. Communications and Stakeholder Management And Option E. Gap Analysis And the correct answer is Option A. Next question is, which of the following best describes the meaning of initial level of risk in risk management? Option A, the categorization after implementation of mitigating actions. Option B, the categorization after initial risk assessment. Option C, the categorization after Mitigation and Residual Risk Assessment Option D. The categorization before determining and implementing mitigating actions And Option E. The categorization before risk identification And the correct answer is Option D. Next question is Complete the sentence. According to Trogev, a view is used to describe how the dash of a stakeholder are being met. Option A. Concerns. Option B. Constraints. Option C. Interest. Option D. Perspective. And Option E. Requirements. And the correct answer is option A. Now moving to the next question. Complete the sentence. The architecture development method produces content to be stored in the repository, which is classified according to the option A, ADM guidelines and techniques, option B, architecture capability framework, Option C, Architecture Capability Model. Option D, Enterprise Continuum. And Option E, is Standards Information Base. And the correct answer is Option D. Next question is, which of the following best describes the state of architecture artifacts as a project progress through ADM phases A to D. Option A, the artifacts are transformed into solution architectures. Option B, the artifacts become increasingly product focused. Option C, the artifacts become increasingly generic and reusable. Option D, the artifacts evolve from generic architectures to organization specific architectures and option A the artifacts evolve from common system architectures to foundation architectures and the correct answer is option D next question is which of the following describes the phase H classification for an incremental change Option A, a change driven by a requirement to derive additional value from the existing investment. Option B, a change driven by a requirement to increase 
investment in order to create new value for exploitation? Option C, a change driven by a requirement to reduce investment. Option D, a change driven by a requirement to realign with the business strategy. And the correct answer is option A. Next question is, which one of the following statements about viewpoints is correct? Option A, a viewpoint is always specific to an architecture. Option B, a viewpoint is used to create views in phase E and F. Option C, a viewpoint is used as a template to create a view. And option D, a viewpoint is what a stakeholder sees. And the correct answer is option C. Thank you. Welcome to our channel. Today we are covering Togea Foundation. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Today's questions are Which of the following best describes TOGEF? Option A An abstract framework for the development of standards and processes for a business architecture. Option B A collection of components organized to accomplish a specific set of functions. Option C, a process model, best practices and assets to aid production, use and maintenance of enterprise architectures. Option D, a reference model containing taxonomy defining terminology for an enterprise architecture together with an associated graphic. And option E, a system development lifecycle method for software engineering. And the correct answer is option C. Next question is, which ADM phase establishes the connection between the architecture organization and the implementation organization through the architecture contract? Option A, phase E. Option B, phase F. Option C, phase G. Option D, phase H, and option E, requirements management. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which one of the following statements about the requirements management phase is true? You can go through these options. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which section of the TOGAF template for defining principles should highlight the requirements for carrying out the principle? Option A, implications. Option B, name. Option C, rational. And option D, statement. The correct answer is option A. Next question is Which one of the following best describes the next step in an architecture compliance review once the scope of the review has been determined? Option A Interview the project principles to obtain background information. Option B, prepare the architecture compliance review report. Option C, schedule the architecture review meeting. Option D, send the assessment report to the architecture review coordinator. And option E, tailor the checklist to address business requirements. And the correct answer is option E. Next question is complete the sentence. 
During the implementation of an architecture, if the original architecture definition and requirements are not suitable, a DAS may be submitted to initiate further architecture work. Option A, capability assessment. Option B, change request. Option C, requirements impact analysis. And option D, statement of architecture work. The correct answer is option B. Now next question is, complete the sentence. All of the following describes a purpose of an architecture compliance review except Option A. Determining the technical readiness of a project. Option B. Ensuring the application of best practices. Option C. Identifying business transformation risk for an architecture project. Option D. Identifying errors in an architecture project and option E identifying where architecture standards require modification. The correct answer is option C. Next question is according to Trugev, which of the following steps in phase B, C and D occurs before development of the baseline or target architecture option a conduct formal stakeholder review option b create architecture definition document option c define roadmap components option d perform gap analysis and option e select reference models viewpoints and tools The correct answer is option E. Next question is, which ADM phase is responsible for assessing the performance of the architecture and making recommendations for change? Option A, phase A. Option B, phase E. Option C, phase F. Option D, Phase G and option E, phase F. The correct answer is option E. Thank you. Back to our channel. Today we are covering Togev Foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are, which of the following best describes an approach for adapting the ADM in the situation where business principles dictate that a package solution be used? Option A, completion of the business architecture should follow the information system architecture. Option B, create an architecture vision and then a detailed business architecture. Option C, Produce a cut-down version of the ADM suitable to the resources available. Option D. Tailor the ADM in conjunction with another architecture framework that has deliverables specific to the vertical sector. And Option E. Tailor the ADM to reflect the relationships with and dependencies on other management processes within the organization. And the correct answer is option A. Next question is, which architecture domain is recommended to be the first architecture work undertaken in the ADM cycle? Option A, application architecture. Option B, business architecture. Option C, data architecture and option D, technology architecture. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, complete the sentence. 
According to Tugev, all of the following are responsibilities of an architecture board except Option A. Ensuring consistency between sub-architectures Option B. Ensuring flexibility of the enterprise architecture to meet business needs Option C. Improving the maturity of the organization's architecture discipline. Option D. Monitoring of architecture contracts. And Option E. Preparing architecture review reports. The correct answer is Option E. Next question is. Which section of the TOGAF document contains a structured meta model for architectural artifacts? Option A Part 2 Architectural Development Method, Option B Part 3 ADM Guidelines and Techniques, Option C Part 4 Architecture Content Framework, Option D Part 6 TOGAF Reference Models. And option E, part 7, architecture capability framework. The correct answer is option C. Now moving to next question. Which of the following statements about TOGAF building block is true? Option A, a good building block should not be composed of other building blocks. Option B, Architecture building blocks should be first selected in phase D. Option C. Building block specifications should be loosely coupled to implementation. And option D. Custom developments are known as architecture building blocks. The correct answer is option C. Next question is. According to Tugev, which of the following is the characteristics of a foundation architecture? Option A. It contains only solution building blocks. Option B. It contains business functions and processes specific to a particular industry sector. Option C. It contains building blocks and their corresponding standards. Option D. It includes a model of application components and application service software including brokering applications. And option E. It includes models for common high level business functions such as supply chain management. The correct answer is option C. Next question is complete the sentence. TOGAF covers the development of four architecture domains, business, data, technology and Option A. Application Option B. Capability Option C. Segment Option D. Transition And Option E. Vision The correct answer is option A. Now moving to next question. Which of the following describes an objective of phase G implementation governance? Option A. Finalize the implementation and migration plan. Option B. Establish the resources for architecture governance. Option C. Ensure conformance for the target architecture. Option D. Operate the governance framework. And Option E. Develop the target technology architecture. The correct answer is Option C. Next question is. Which of the following best describes the purpose of this statement of architecture work? It contains an assessment of the current architecture requirements. Option B. It defines the scope and approach to complete an architecture project. 
Option C, it is sent from the sponsor and triggers the start of an architecture development cycle. Option D, it provides a high level aspirational view of the end architecture project. And option E, it provides a schedule for implementation of the target architecture. The correct answer is option B. Thank you.